Hello, everybody. I guess this is a tool gripe or something. I don't know. But it just occurred to me I wanted to correct something that I constantly hear, or I guess it seems like everyone, everyone complains about crescent wrenches. Everybody owns a bunch of them, and they sell them everywhere for some reason. But everybody complains about them. Everybody, everybody treats these things like they're absolute garbage and that they're not good for anything at all, <clears throat> which is junk. I mean, that's a stupid, that's a stupid thing. Uh, to say. I'm getting tired of people griping about crescent wrenches. Um, they're not designed to replace a ratchet. They're not designed to replace a wrench. Regular, regular wrenches with specific sizes that fit nuts and bolts perfectly were already around when these were invented. These weren't invented to replace anything. They were invented to fill a need, mainly for tradesmen, I'm sure, you know, so you can uh, get a wrench on something that isn't, you know, cast or machined to the right size. So what I mean by that is a lot of times castings, if you work on, if you're a plumber or a, a pipe fitter or a hydro mechanic or whatever, you work on oil filled stuff, whatever, you're going to have castings that aren't the right size. And I could sit here and measure this like the, the top on this check valve. I guarantee you that's in between sizes on a wrench. Um, no matter what decent, you know, how good of a wrench set you have, it's probably not going to have something that fits. But see, look how tight the crescent wrench fits. If you just grab it, use the thumb wheel, tighten it up. I mean, it stays on. A regular wrench won't even do that. So that's the purpose of these when you need to work on something. That's an odd size. You know, it's a 32nd too big, you know, or a 16th too big. And putting an open end wrench that doesn't fit it will round it as well. So if you use the wrong size open end wrench, or you try to use an open end wrench where it's just too darn tight, you're gonna spread the, the jaws anyway, you're gonna round it even with the proper wrench. You know, a six point box end or a knockoff wrench. Well, now you're talking, you know, but a set of knockoff wrenches is a gazillion dollars. Um, you can do a lot with these. They're actually a really handy tool. Um, copper fittings, here's another one. These things are not manufactured that well. They're not, they're not, um, you know, they're not quite exact. I mean, I think they're pretty good actually, but here's another time you need to, you need something that'll get on there. This is a crappy wrench by the way, but you need something that'll get on there and fit well, but you, you know, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna file down the jaws on your box head wrench? Oh, come on, you know, you're not gonna do that. So these things are actually quite useful. Um, and that's what they're designed for. They're designed for when you're working on stuff that is <clears throat> an odd size, or it's as cast and it isn't really machined down to a specific size. Like this is a good example of that. Um, you know, and that's what stays on there pretty tight, you know. Um, obviously it just fell off, but you know, you get the point. Um, these things are actually quite handy and they're a good tool. You know, if you, if you use it wrong, then you're going to destroy shit. And yes, they, you know, they, people call them nut rounders, you know, for a reason you will round nuts over and you'll struggle. If you do the wrong job with this, you try to take the head off of you, off of an engine with this, you're going to, it's going to be horrible. It's going to be a miserable process, but they're not designed for that. They never, they never were meant to be a replacement for a ratchet or wrenches or anything else. They're designed for, you know, getting you out of a jam and making a few turns with it. They're not designed to sit there and be fast. And they're not designed for you to do a bum job and go like this with a bunch of slop and then sit there and crank on it. They're designed to be tightened up on there and then use it, take it off, put it back on. See how tight that'll get? It's pretty good, you know, then do it. A, it's a slow tool. So if you try to use them fast, you're gonna have bad results. You try to use them for the wrong purpose, you're really going to have bad results. <laughs> but for what they are, uh, it's actually a great tool. I just get sick of people knocking them. There's a reason why you can buy them anywhere because they're awfully handy, you know, and uh, you can do, you know, a variety of tasks with them. Uh, funny thing about a crescent wrench, it's probably one of the tools besides a screwdriver that, um, shit, three o'clock in the morning, you could probably go to a truck stop and buy one if you needed one. <laughs> You know, they're, they're still sold everywhere, and that's that's for a reason. They're just plain handy. Uh, people do misuse them, and they do suck for a lot of things, but they're, they're, they're great when they're used for their intended purpose. Anyway, there's my tool gripe. The old crescent wrench.